Hey everybody, uh, I'm Mark, and today we are out at our beautiful uh, Fountain Park right across from our offices, and we are gonna take the chance today and, and use this opportunity to demonstrate and show how the new EL range with tracking assistant works. Oh. There's two different modes that, that you can use. One is the easier and uh, I guess better way to do it, but it only works if you have uh, cell phones coverage in the, in the area that you're hunting, which a lot of the times doesn't happen. Um, if you don't have cell, co cell phone coverage, you're gonna use the directional uh, you know, left, rights, or forward, backwards in the binocular, and that's what we're gonna be demonstrating today. If you do have cell phone coverage, it, it basically just turns your phone into a compass that tells you walk 450 yards that way, turn left, turn right. It's extremely easy to use. So we have a big park that we can use. We can use as many points or that are as far or as close as we want to. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna range a couple times in the general area of where I wanna be heading. And then I'm going to turn on the Bluetooth on the binocular until my little blue light turns on at the bottom here. Take my app and click Get Measurements after it's connected. There it goes. All right, so now I've got the last three measurements that I measured with my EO range displayed on the screen. I can pick measurement one, two, or three. All I gotta do is click it. It starts to automatically detect my location with GPS. If I have cell phone coverage, automatically starts to detect that. I can either choose the automatic uh, uh, GPS positioning or I can click manual and I can actually move my position around on the map and place it. If it's just a little bit off, I can place it. So I'll click manual, I'll change it a little bit there, then I'll click set start point. Now, after I've done that, it, it displays my start point and it draws a direct line to my last measurement. And just looking at it on the screen here, I ranged a couple trees that were 595 across the, across the lake here. It looks like it dropped the pin about 15 to 20 yards to the left. So already extremely accurate. And if I, if this was a, if this had hills in between, um, you know, and any, any sort of topography, just starting on a straight line, walking up hills and thinking like, oh yeah, it was that direction, it's that tree. Walking down a hill, veering a little bit left, over 600 yards, you're going to be off more than, more than 15 yards once you get to the point. So just using this right here is gonna get you into a very, very close general area that will help in a ton of situations. We were just talking about it in the last two or three years. I could think of four or five situations where I know where I shot the deer, I know where it is, but I'm still gonna use this because I always end up over a 600 yard you know, hike, I'm gonna end up about maybe even 100 yards offline if I'm not ex being extremely diligent with checking my line. So this feature right here with cell phone coverage is going to be used constantly if I can. Now. We are going to demonstrate the compass and the tracking assistant inside the binoculars. This is probably what most people are gonna be using in a, lot, in, in a lot of our, at least Western hunting situations. You don't have cell phone coverage, but you have GPS and you have your phone with you, so you can at least use the app and use this binocular to get you pretty dang close to a deer or whatever that you're 700 yards or you know however far away from. Over hills, you know, and, and over mountains and wherever you want to go, this should be pretty cool. So what we're going to do, we're going to, I'm going to have Chris, my dad, range something across the lake. I'm not going to look at what he's ranging. I'm not going to know, I'm not going to know anything about where he and what he's ranging. I'm going to turn around and close my eyes. Then he is going to set up the binoculars for me and I'm going to take off on a little jaunt and all I'm going to have is this binocular, I won't have the app, so I won't have the GPS or the, the satellite you know, coordinates, and it won't be that easy. I'm not gonna make it that easy on myself. All I'm gonna have is the binoculars. I'm gonna start walking, and what I'm gonna do is range back at our start point, which is right here. And that is going to tell me 50 yards left, and you've still got 450 yards to go. And I'm just gonna keep going until I get to zero and zero, and it tells me I'm at the exact spot, and then we're gonna go ahead and check the exact uh, spot that was ranged and the exact spot that it told me to go and see about how far we are away and see if we could 
see if we could glance around and, and see a dead deer on the ground if we've you know if we were in a hunting situation. So let's go ahead and get started. So all you have to do is start walking and then, and then range. Okay, you guys stay in this general vicinity so I can use this beacon of orange. Oh, look at that! Yeah, look at that button. Look at that button. Get that. Get that product placement. <laughs> get that product placement. So all I do is just range, Joe. All I do is just range back at you guys. Okay, we'll figure it out. All right. You don't have to film the entire time. <laughs> so I need to go. Okay, it says 293 yards that direction. And it looks like 109 yards that direction. So let's see here. We're duck hunting. Oh, so it looks like we're directly on line. So it says zero, it's like bounces back between like zero to four yards left and right. We got 156 yards to go. Okay, so we're still online. It says 68 to about 80 yards this direction. All right, so it's, I'm six yards, uh, I guess north south, we'll call it that. Six yards away, distance wise. It says I'm 38 yards, 38 yards to the right. So I'm thinking it's in this general vicinity. 38 yards, I mean, is a very small margin. So if it was, if he actually did range that tree, if it got me 38 yards to that tree, then, I mean, that's, that's pretty dang good. Cause I mean, what you're hoping for and they've, they've said this, it, it's a tracking assistant. They're not saying it's gonna drop a pin, you know, directly on a, on a point or directly on a dead deer and you're just gonna walk up to it and be like, yep, it's right in front of my feet and it says zero, zero. It's probably not gonna be happening. But we're hoping is what happens is it gets you within a vicinity, you pick a, a landmark and it gets you close enough to that landmark that you can say, okay, it got me within 40 yards of where I needed to go Oh look, there's my tree. That's you know that's the tree I was looking for. That's the spot I was looking for, and then you can head right for it. Instead of being unsure about if you're in the right spot, you know, and you're you're actually 140 yards away, and you're you know completely messed up. It'll give you more confidence in your in your directional uh, in your tracking. So let's see. If we can range them from somewhere in here. I don't think we can see them from in here. Oh yeah, I can. All right, so this is about where it told me to go. What are you guys mapping out? Basically what this does, if I range something across 600 yards away and start walking, this will guide me into that exact spot what that I What if you ranged. don't have GPS and you're out in the hills and you're hunting or something? You can just use the binocular. All I have to do, I don't even have to have my phone with me. I range something, I go into the menu in here. It'll save it. You could walk around a whole gully or something and get right yep. back to that point. Absolutely. Very cool. And it's a right super there. cool. Yeah, it's a super cool. They're brand new. So they literally just came out last week. Right, yeah, but they're, right. they're available. Let's see Absolutely. What's, what's Outdoors. Your name? Mine's named Mark. And you guys are right up there. Then. Just right there, right across the street from Phil's Filling Station. You'll, you'll see our sign up on the building, Outdoorsman's. Stop by. Right? Absolutely. Right, we'll Absolutely. All right. <laughs> I think we sold one. I think so. I think we'll back to our tracking guy was really nice back to our tracking it's telling me i'm within a very very decent margin here so it's, it keeps telling me about three yards further then zero yards further and then like five yards to the right and then sometimes zero yards to the right so I, it's we're in this very very small circle of, of where he ranged so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna ring this guy all right, so it's telling me I'm I'm at the spot, and I hope it's right. So, yeah. Okay, so like just directly to my left over here. Yeah. Okay. I mean that's that's within that's with it because it's still telling me to go about ten yards uh, to my left. So, yeah. So I mean it's let's see if I can do this little chicken wing tracking thing here. Aha. All right, perfect. Actually, it's telling me right now. I just got a good range on it, so me eight yards further and 43 yards to the left. So I mean that'll that'll put me dead on. All right, very cool. Well, it got me pretty dang close. All right, you are uh, you are relieved of your duties. All right, appreciate it. Bye. Thanks.
All right, so like we said, I think this is definitely going to be a feature that you, you, need, to, you need to play with it, um, especially when you're in the field, range a ton. Like when you actually are using the tracking assistant, you need to be ranging a lot while you're getting close. You need to be, you know, because I mean, GPS coordinates on this, we can't expect them to, like I said, drop a pin within five feet of, of something. I mean, that's, that's extremely impressive. So I ranged a couple times up there and it was telling me like six yards, I need to go six or 12 yards to the left. And then I moved a little bit and it got a little bit better GPS service or, or something. And it said about 43 yards to the left, which puts us right underneath this tree, which is the tree that he ranged. So we are, let's see what it gives me now. Yep, so it's telling me to go about 20 yards back to my right. So again, it, it guided me in to this area, which I had no idea where in the park he ranged. And it guided me into an area that I can start at least searching for something that, that, that's on the ground. If I don't already have a, a landmark that I'm like, okay, nope, he's right underneath that tree. It got me to that tree. So I'm thoroughly impressed. This worked, I mean, way better than I thought it was going to. And it was pretty dang reliable. It's fast. Like every time I press that button, it's giving me, you know, boom, left, keep going. You know, it's, it's very easy to use. And literally all you have to do is just point it back to where you came from, click the range button. There's nothing, I mean, there's nothing complicated about it. Getting into that tracking assistant, all I do is range where I need to go, go into my menu, select through the last three ranges, select the range that I want, say it's 550 yards. I know that that was my range that I wanted to go to and click track on. And that's literally it. I mean, it takes five or six clicks to get tracking assistant turned on and you, you take off. I mean, it's not, it's not a complicated service. The cell phone app is even easier. I mean, it just drops a pin and tells you, you just pull up a compass and you just start walking. I mean, it's got a little arrow on there. It says, just keep going that direction. You've got 450 yards left and it just walks you right in here. So I hope you guys kind of got a little gist of what the EO range with tracking assistant can do. Um, I know we're obviously not out in the hills. This is as, this is as, uh, this is the most wilderness we've got within 100 yards of our office. So uh, sorry we couldn't take you out into into you know our real mountains out here in Arizona. But this gives you the general idea of what this binocular is capable of doing, and how that can supplement your hunting and and your tactics while you're out in the field. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions on the EL range with tracking assistant. Uh, the new DS from Swarovski or any optics related questions, tripods, backpacks, anything you guys need, uh, give us a call at 1-800-291-8065 or visit us online at outdoorsman.com. Thanks guys.